Good afternoon, Andrea from Chasing Whimsy with another cool little trick that I wanted to show you that just might save you a picture. I uh, Sometimes you have a great pose and you notice that the person's expression is just a little bit off. So I'm going to show you how you can sometimes, oftentimes, correct it, at least make it better uh, using the liquify tool. If you notice this little one, she's kind of got her eyebrows raised up, kind of a little I don't know if she looks suspicious or sleepy or surprised. Not the greatest pose uh, expression on her face. So watch her face. I will turn on the layer of how I was able to alter it using Liquify. So before and after. Before and after. So, and it may take you several times. It took me a few times to get it just right. And I could probably do a little bit more with it. But anyways, I'm just going to show you how to do it. And then it'll be up to you to practice and fiddle with it to see if it can work for you. So as always, uh, when you're using something like a liquify or something that you want to be able to alter later, duplicate your layer. So you have a fresh layer to work on. And when you go into liquify, you don't need to bring the whole picture. And you can actually use your selection tool and just take the section you're working on. Then it will use less memory because liquify is a big tool. So filter, liquify, and it will bring in your selection. Now up here, I don't think you can see this. Let me bring this over. This is the liquify menu. And it's the forward warp tool, the top one with the pointy finger that we're going to be using to do this. There are settings over here you can fiddle around with too to see what they do. It's the size of the brush. The density is how much of the area it's going to pull within the circle. So you can fiddle with that and see. I'm just going to leave it where it is to show you this. Uh, so what I'm going to do uh, with this eye, I basically want to try to open these eyes up a little bit and then bring these eyebrows down to a more less surprised or I don't know what her, the confused or pensive expression that she has. So the with the liquify tool, the crosshairs are where it pulls and it sort of affects the area of that. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want to do and probably go a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to go over from the top of her eyelid here and just pull up a little bit to open that eye a bit. And same with here. This one I might go a little bigger about the size of the eye. Tiny bits at a time. Because if you do it too much, you're going to get something that looks really wonky. So that one's too much. If you need to go back, Control-Alt-Z is back up. That's a standard Photoshop back up one step, if you didn't know that shortcut. Um, we're going to need to bring down these eyebrows a bit. So I can actually pull right about here because I want this whole brow and eye to come down. So I'm going to go like right here. And that will bring the eye down a little bit. And then I need to tuck the top of that eyebrow down a bit. So it doesn't look so surprised. Same with this one. We're going to bring this down. And then this part of it needs to come up a little bit and over. If you kind of grab here, it's going to pull the whole eye as well. You got to be careful because you can make it look really weird. Just kind of keep moving around to see what looks now she looks kind of angry so you got to be careful mm. you don't have spock eyebrows here if there's little bits like this you can clone them after so pull this whole bit of eye down a bit back and forth see what you can do that looks a little better i think okay now i'm going to take a hit okay come in here let's do a before and after and see if that's better so there's where it was there's where it is. I would do more work on that. It's not quite where I would want it to be, but I just wanted to show you how you do it so you can uh, fiddle with that. This this eye actually worked not too bad. If you look at the before and after, it actually looks like she just naturally changed the expression. This one is okay, not too bad. It needs a little bit of work in here. Might need to even draw in a little bit of eyebrow like that. But anyways, I just wanted to show you how to do that because uh, Liquify could potentially save you a picture if you just have a funny expression or an eyebrow that's in the wrong place. This also works for smiles, like pulling up the corner of a mouth. You can gently push it up if they're maybe frowning a little bit and you want to brighten that. You can grab an entire cheek to help pull it up into a more smiley face. So you got to just kind of think what muscles change, what facial features change if you change expression. And uh, it's pretty magical what you can do. I love Photoshop. I hope you love Photoshop too. Take care, guys.